Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. So it's our final day in our village, and how what better way to end the end our stay without a, a tour of our village? And you can meet everyone who's part of our family, uh, who are part of our immediate family, and we'll go around and we'll give you a nice little tour. We've got representatives from everywhere. So we've got my cousin brother. He's my auntie's son. We've got my nephew here from the bottom house, and we've got my nephew over there from the top house, inshallah. So, I'm not, I'm not about to say, I'm not going 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 to say. So, this is the entrance into my village. Oh. Oh, look, I'm not going to say. So, on this patch of land, this is a, this is a, a bit of land that we own between our whole, all four houses in our village. Zinga, so that's a ridge goat over there. Uh, we've got some uh, hyacinth beans growing over there as well. Loads of banana trees around around the back. Okay, we've got um, uh, bindi okra over there as well. A nice little spot. I'm not saying you're going to go to the house. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Kita? Saur or gas? Saur kita? Saur kita? Saur kita? Saur kita? Saur so, so we've got a nice little entrance into our village and this is the path that I actually love. Do you know whenever whenever as soon as I see these red hills, right? <laughs> see, see, the first time I came through, through you know, the first time I came um, in 1991, right? The Tilla Silotan was on to. For Lazi Tuai, Tilla on Asil. Shaman no Hatasil, Tata Hatasil, Horror on Asil. The other side, the key, oh, all on Asil, like the other side. आर बारिक बारिक फूड फूड तक ही मास्टरिंगा देखता हूँ वो फॉयल आमी देखता हूँ मास्टरिंगा जे जो सो द फर्स्ट टाइम आई सो किंग फिशेस वाज हियर सो ओवर हियर नीड्स अ बिट ऑफ वीडिंग बट वी हैव गोट मुकी एडोस एडोस ग्रोइंग एवरीवेयर ये व्हेन आई फर्स्ट विजिटेड इन 1991 दिस वाज ऑल जो and people have uh, taken the soil to use for construction and stuff like that. But our village is on a very sandy soil. Lalbalu. It's very much sand, very little organic matter in the, in the soil itself. But because of um, the silt that washes down from the Ganges and everything that washes down in the rain, the soil, even though it's sandy, is really, really fertile. So look at this jungle. People talk about food forests, right? These are people who, who don't have a TV. They've only recently got access to the internet. But this this village is over 150 years old, and these are this is a food forest. There's timber from all kinds of tim different trees. Oh, kungasa, kungasa. So the, those tr the trees that he just mentioned, they're used for building. They're used for construction. The really versatile trees for wood, and the same thing we've got over here. Do you know all these bamboos? Now these kind of bamboos is construction bamboo. It's used for making fences. It's used for making construction. All kinds of things like that. Come on, cookie, come here. Moi te da bash kita. Ancha, borwa bash. Tei borwa bash te kita koro en. Beda. Beda. Building banana te ni te di. Building banana te. Scaffolding. Yeah. Uh, so it's used for, this this bamboo is used for scaffolding. Look at the size of it. There's my hand, and I'm being bit by a mosquito as well. See there, there's my hand. Look at the size of it. Right, really strong construction bamboo. They're living inside a, a full ecosystem, but the whole and they're very much part of the ecosystem because they're putting in as much as they're taking out. They're planting trees and they're using these trees for furniture, they're using these trees for fruit. You know, Khatul Gasai Nasi Ni? We've got jackfruit up there. Look at the size of those jackfruit, absolutely beautiful. So you even get monkeys coming and eating there, eating the fruit as well. So, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Ah, another jackfruit. What's that? 
Oksa, dorsene. So amra is a, is a type of uh, stone fruit that's quite tangy. You know, uh, it's a favourite to just have with a bit of salt and a bit of chilli powder. But when I was here in 1991, I used to head up here, and we used to we used to go we used to go up that up a little path to school that way. Uh, absolutely wonderful. Uh, look at this more jackfruit. You had a lot of gas, wasn't it? Eh? Had a lot of gas, he done me. Bastiar, Hola, Gilavna. A chair. The Hola Dorsene. 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 So, this is the first time I've been here. 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 So, dem de. So, with these bananas, they only fruit once. So, they get the fruit one time and then they chop the banana tree down and then the, the, it sends out. And, and it send, sends out more little stems and then they get more, um, more bananas off a, off a runner, basically. Uh. So we're coming up to the south south side of the village. This is this is my nephew Mohit. It's his house, mashallah. And um, Kunda. So guavas, yeah. We've got guava trees right in right in front of his house, so they don't have to walk far. Come straight out for free to learn like Okay. Yeah. So this is the Okay. The the hill at the top. Every house around there has the graveyard. So our graveyard, our family graveyard, runs the length of our village from the top all the way to the bottom. And every house is burying their own family members back there. So it's very much you're rooted here. You've got your home. You've got your your food production. You've got your dead. Everything in one place. You know, tamra both takhui, both takhui bor. Khoto amlor khui bor na ne? Yeah. Aam mona se jo bibi mara ke sun, etku etku morzon mora ke ne na? Amra dadi ne. Huh? Na, amra dadi to mara sun. No no, boro dadi. Boro mai? Amra jan mora ke. Jan mora ke. Ami dekhi. See, id id ona zam, foila ona zam dekhi na desho. Oh, ami mati dewa wa ami dekhi na. Come. Come. Are you kita kabai dai? The jackfruit. I mean, it has more than one one uh, use. It's not just for, it's for jackfruit's used for the fruit. It's used for the the timber. Timber is one of the best timbers you can buy, uh, and they're use, using it for fodder as well. Any branches that low hanging that they're trimming off, they're bringing it down and feeding it to the to the uh, livestock. We're living inside of a jungle here. I mean, it's at one with nature. I'm joined with my eldest cousin uh, from the top house. And basically, <laughs> So, so is one of um, he's one of the local elders. So he's he's quite important uh, in terms of settling disputes, um, any problems that people have. Basically, normally one of the people who everyone comes to to sort these things out. We run for um, local chairman for this union. So that's the first time uh, that this jackfruit is fruiting. And there's a. Do you want to eat it? No, So poor mellow. No. So this is their little orchard as well. It's like the, they've got um, beetle nuts, they've got coconuts in here. The, so we've got a pond here as well, and within the pond, so we've got fish.
So uh, this is the husks of the rice that I just piling up. It's going to heat up. It's going to break down. And I'm not going to use one. I'm not going to use one. So they use the compost somewhere else to feed plants and other other uh, vegetables. I was just saying the first time I came, all down this side there were pineapple plants everywhere. So another coconut tree and it's been fertilized with wood shavings. See, now you can you can get an idea of the type of gardening where I get it from and what I'm using. I mean everything that people have access to, that's just what they're using. I don't have fun hosting any. Look at bringing down jackfruit. Oh, the way so hot and hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you've got the example of the pond surrounded by trees. You know, Kita Kita Gasa in the day. Oh, Nam Ho Ho Tar. Um, Kartal. Some mangoes, jackfruits. Arida. Lembo. Lemons. Tonali Lembo. Guardas. Guardas Lembo. Guardas Samba. Guardas Sarasi. Kita. Zambura. Zambura. So we've got Pomelo. Katazamir. Katazamir Kunta Hoy. Katazamir Hoy. Kita Hoy. It's like an Indian gooseberry, absolutely amazing, you know, uh, one of the best fruits, uh, one of my favourite fruits, light everywhere, homla, home oranges, exactly that. Exactly that. Exactly that. Exactly that. So this is the neem tree and what they do is they take the leaf, uh, they grind it up, get, extract the juice and they use that as a tonic. It's a really good herbal remedy. Um, Okay. So pomelos, these mackerel, these are one of the originals, uh, um, citrus, lots of green chilies here. So this is their house, so their, their house is the little house. So you've got all the units going right outside the house. Mm. So these are the long purple variety. Uh, so these, are hmm? uh, these are extremely, extremely hot chilies. Um, I don't know the name of them in English, but uh, they're extremely, extremely hot chilies. Why did I just rip off a good legal man to pick this rubbish up? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so uh, sawtooth coriander or uh, culantro is called. So right outside the doorstep, attached to the house literally. So Malabar spinach, what is it for you? It's a type of food lamboy. So that will grow four or five foot, foot tall. Uh, lots of aubergines. Nagamolis. So you can't have a Bangladeshi house without Nagamolis. So Bangladeshi Naga over here as well. We've got absolutely everything outside our house. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we've seen the top two houses and this really, so this is, this is my house behind us. 
and this is my first cousin's house. So really, this is one house. This is one family, uh, and it's split off into two. You know, down the generations are split off, and one one uncle's gone that that way, and one, my dad went this way. Um, so let's go and have a look at our little plot and our little house, our little house. So you can see these guys have spent a lot of time in Bangladesh, and then. Found a really nice orchard, and that's a lot younger orchard over there. So here's my nephew, Ash Vlogs. This is Ash Vlogs' first cousin. Yeah. So uh, I'll I'll define it. No, I'm not doing that. Jingaga, Jingaga. So from Mindani na Bakrabanga. Bakrata. So another ridge gold. And look at how it's grown. It's just grown in rubbish. You know, it's just grown in the leaf litter underneath on the bottom and it's just allowed to ramble up the trees and there's another one up there that is just allowed to literally ramble up the trees and they'll just pick them as they're going i mean like uh like the rest of the world plastic waste is a really nasty thing even in this country and we've had you know the recent rain waters the floods have been coming down and they've just washed a load of rain into the ground tomatoes so tomatoes just allowed to grow wild rampant and one thing you'll notice about the fruit trees. Mango, amorgas. Oktan Ramatalfre. So mango tree here. One thing you'll notice about the fruit trees is they're allowed to grow straight up. You know, like in, in an orchard or in a uh, traditional agro you know, a traditional fruit de a farm dedicated to growing fruit, they keep the trees quite low so they can pick them easy. Here, because the trees serve multiple purposes, they've got to serve as wood, they've got to serve as, you know, they've got to keep in line with nature with the rest of the trees as well. Now, if you kept dwarfing fruit trees here, they'd, they'd be overshadowed by some of the naturally longer trees here, so they've got to compete for that. And also, by growing a single stem that's quite straight, they can get, make lots and lots of really useful timber for building. So all the roofs of these houses, they're all made from our own wood that we've been growing here. When I first came to Bangladesh in 91, there was a jackfruit tree here. And that one uh, was cut down so we could make our furniture, you know, for our beds and everything. And this one I planted with my uncle 20, just so, over 20 years ago. Um, and that's bearing fruit now and we're going to repeat that experience with my kids. So I'm going to pick these mangoes now. Oh. Hey, yeah, there we go. There's a technique to it. This boy's mastered the technique, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. MashaAllah. So I've mastered the technique, MashaAllah. I'm not going to do <laughs> so, two lovely mangoes. We'll have these mangoes shortly. Oh, it smells so nice. Our side, opposite our house, we've got the same setup. We've got the same setup here. With on their side as well with the uh, beetle nut, coconuts, everything mixed in together. But I want to show you something really interesting. Come here. This is our cow house, right? So this is where the cows would be tied up during the day uh, when they're not out on the field to be fed from here. And then you've got the gutter for the manure behind. You've got the gutter for the manure just behind. And it all feeds into this big mulch pit. And behind the mulch pit, you've got loads and loads of banana trees. So loads and loads of bananas to suck up those excess nutrients to pull in all the you know fertile they get fertilized from all this manure from here uh, they suck it up this compost down and this is used for other purposes the bananas you get your fruit you get your mulch material as well and they're chopped down and then the banana you know the stalks of the banana tree is used to make rafts it's used to feed the cattle it's used to you know fertilize the fields further. So we've got that constant cycle of material being used over and over again. We've got three drag fruits just in our section here, and they're all grown really as straight as straight as possible. I'm not going to go into the pond side again because we've got the same thing down there. We've got another pond, but as a shared between the two houses. Yeah, amorgas, the
so here's the first jackfruit that I've been able to pick this this time around we came just at the start of jackfruit season so I'm gonna really enjoy this I I don't think like we're going to side that does not side that I Oh, rasta to me, the way the rasta is there, good guys. And rasta to me, agree. Oh, oh, jaga, side that down. For bato, but you are the guys who are you. I mean, why is he? I'm not that dark. But for him, oh, oh, why is he? Oh, 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 Sairum. Jecha. Madanorum got Sairum. Acha. Aramirla. Acha. Do you gay? Do you gay? Tom says, you didn't. Ah, I've not a law. I've not that the Namula of this. Je. Ah, father the Namula Hamdi. Ah, Raro that that want a more. Villa Hormuz. Hormuz. Oil of Sairum. तो तो अब्दुल सुफान हम दुमिया और मूस तरबायें बायें जो तरबाय अहमद जी बायें जो तो अहमद दादा इस लागे हो वाले हो बरेट अहमद बीबी जो जो हो रही है नौ किस्म बाल लोग रे जो रे जनवर दो लोग इले मामी आस्था ये लाहार so the place I'm actually in, this is my ancestral home. Um, this is where my family ties back to for almost a thousand years. It's been quite emotional just speaking to my uncle and listening to him talking about how when they first settled here, that it was still almost like unconquered wilderness that they had to come and settle and uh, ward off wild animals in order to establish their homes. But just in this village here, my family, uh, my ancestral family has been here for over a thousand years and that, you know, this is the second time that I've really come and studied this place and found out what it actually means to me. The last time I was in tears when I found these people because these, this is where my blood is. You know, these, these people are, you know, that close that, yeah, it, it, it does really have a touching effect. And this is what I want the children to learn and see and experience the same emotion that I had when I was here. So we're going to do something with my kids that we did 21 years ago with me. We're going to plant a tree here. This is a light tree that we planted, you know, that we bought. That's the jackfruit tree I planted 21 years ago. And this is one that we're going to plant. So this is a light tree that we're going to plant. This is a light tree that we're going to plant. Yeah, but I'm a I'm I'm a I'm I'm so what they'll do in a few months time once this plant's done is they'll spread some manure on the top the plant grows really strong. But you can see how intense these things are planted. So that's something that we've done now as a family that I did 21 years ago and the kids have had their chance to do it. So that's a little tour around our village and our food forest and how we're growing things over here. And I hope you've seen what, some of the techniques that I've got, where I actually learned it from. 
So I'm gonna leave it there for this one. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Bye bye.